Hello, my name is Fabiana, and in this quick video, I'm going to show off the PC software upgrade for the CT Analyzer. This is an old software license that can be purchased by the customer. First, I'm going to show you guys how to add the license file. When a customer purchases this license, they'll receive a license file that they can use to update their CT Analyzer suite. So right now I'm on 5.2, which as of May 2022 is the latest release version. So the first step would be to go to this update icon here, select software license, since this is a software license, not a device license. Then what we need to do is to find the .lic file, which uh, is stored locally on our computer and select the three dots. You can find it wherever you, you saved it, click it and then select update. Now, You'll know that once you update it, you'll see the installed software license here, and you'll see all of the features that are included in this particular software upgrade. Now I'm going to show off the first feature of the PC software upgrade, which is the multi-test view. So previously, we could only open up one test at a time, but now with the software upgrade, we can actually open up to six tests. For this example, I'm going to open up three tests. So I'm just going to go here to open document, select these three tests, click open. Right now you can see that we have three different tabs open and we can just click back and forth these tabs. So this can be helpful when you're doing a quick comparison of results. Or let's say that you want to copy the settings in the preparation section for this particular test. You can select the test here and click duplicate and you'll see that a new test will be created here and it will copy all of the settings so it saves a little bit of time all right so the next feature is the advanced reporting tool i'm going to go to the create report icon to show you this feature So one benefit of this tool is that you can actually merge individual tests into one single report. So right now, uh, what I'm looking at here is a list of .xml CTA files, which are stored in the CTA measurements folder. I could select the docs here and change the folder to view other tests located on my computer. So this test here are the tests that are in the folder um, and on the right are actually the tests that I want to add to the report. So you can basically click any test, um, click the arrow to move the test to the left uh, or to the right. So I just added this to my report and I can simply remove it by selecting it and clicking the arrow. So for the first example, I just want to generate a single PDF using this general single test template that you see here. So I have selected PDF format and I'm going to create report. All right, so this is the PDF with all of the individual tests merged together. So they're still separate to each other, just in one single document. The other benefit of this tool is that you can use different templates that allow you to easily compare the results. So there are some default templates included here, like the general three test template, general six tests, uh, but you can also build your own. So let's say for this example, we want to compare the results of these three CTs, um, which are exactly the same and are on the transformers face ABC. What I need to do is go here and select the general three test template. And I'm going to go ahead and ex create an Excel report for this one. And then just simply click create report. So 
So now the report is going to open up in Excel. And now you see that in this template, you have the three test results placed in three separate columns right next to each other. So it can be used for just a quick comparison. And you also see that even the excitation curves are plotted here. So for this case, um, the three CTs, they're similar. So the excitation curves are right on top of each other. So this can be really useful when trying to further troubleshoot or diagnose your CTs. All right, so the template designer is the next feature. This lets you customize your own reports. For this feature, we need to select the design report icon. So you can see in the design mode that we have three different options to create a custom template. One is to modify an existing template. This consists of two steps, right? The first one is create design report. The second one is to create a template from the design report. So a design report is simply just a mock report uh, with real data that you can manipulate with just standard Excel formulas, right? Because it's an, uh, actually an Excel report here. And then once you have the design report, you can actually generate your template. You can also create a template directly from a design report, right? Let's say you had already created a design report, already uploaded the data you needed to it. Um, you just need to make it a minor modification. Uh, you can just do that on your design report, save it, and then find it here, uh, select it, and then from this, you can generate your new template. And of course, um, the third option is just to create a new template from scratch. So again, it's you know similar to the modified template where you have to first create a design report and then a template from the design report. So to modify an existing template, uh, it's pretty easy. You first want to choose the template uh, you want to modify. So you can see these are the ones that we used before, the single test, the three tests, and then we also have the general six test template. So depending on what kind of template you want to make, um, you can choose one of these. And then you want to choose from your folders uh, on your computer what test you want to use to load the data into that report. Um, be sure that you can change the name here, create the report, the Excel report, edit the Excel report using your standard uh, Excel formulas. Then you can save it, and then from there, create your new template here. So that's the general idea. It's a really useful tool and it's part of the PC software upgrade. The next feature is the simulation tool. This one is straightforward. You can now run simulations without needing to have the CT analyzer hooked up. All you need to do is select the calculation tab here add a calculation. For this case, I want to run the calculation with a 50% burden. So I simply enter that here and select calculate. And again, I'm not hooked up to the CTA and I was able to get the results. That summarizes the PC software upgrade. I hope you enjoy the video. Until next time.